focus on this Bottega Veneta stretch knot clutches and its features. But first, let's have a look at the origin of the Bottega Veneta brand. It was established in 1966 by Michele Tadei and Renzo Zengiaro. What I personally love about the brand is the tradition in each product. Craftsmen making Bottega Veneta luxury pieces have inherited their skills from their fathers working for the same employer 50 years earlier. The whole production process takes place in Italy. Here we will analyze these two stretch knot clutches, an authentic one and a fake one. So let's start with the knot as it's one of the most characteristic features of the product. The Bottega Veneta logo should be precisely stamped into a circle shape and it must be visible and never too close or too far from the edges. We can see how nicely it's done here. But notice how badly it looks with the letter B cut in a sloppy way and how it barely fits the circle shape at all. And now the end pieces of the knot. Here, in the original Bottega Veneta clutch, they gently flow downwards. Let's compare with the fake one. As you can see, they flow to the side. The knot itself imitates the real soft fabric of good quality, as the lines and curves show. Even though it was made of metal, you can actually feel this somehow frozen or fossilized fabric. And now look here. The knot is rigid as if it was tied really strongly. You can see the poor marks that try to imitate the weave of fabric. Just by looking at this detail, you can definitely tell it's a fake product. The top snap closure works really gently and lightly. However, the clasp fastening is very strong. There is practically no chance that it will open suddenly, showing our precious content of the clutch. With the fake one here, I wouldn't be so sure. It opens lightly and easily, gets opened by itself as well. So let's go to the most interesting part of the clutch, the intrecciato weave. The authentic Bottega Veneta knot clutch we have here is made of intrecciato grogren. Just by touching it, you can tell it was made with the greatest precision and artistry. It's even and it does not protrude at any side. The fake clutch has the edges covered by poor quality leather that is already worn out and has visible glue stains that prove how sloppily it has been made. And now let's see what to expect from the inside of the authentic Bottega Veneta clutch. The lining is exactly the same fabric used on external parts of the clutch. Just at the first glance, you can notice its exquisite quality. So, what do you think? What shall we see inside the fake clutch? As expected, everything seems to be wrong here. At first, the lining is a completely different from the external fabric. Notice how badly it was glued. We can even see the air bubbles all over the interior of the clutch. The one thing that you cannot notice by yourself is this awful smell of glue and synthetics. So, you have to trust me with this one. As a matter of fact, if you smell glue, you probably don't need to analyze the origin of the products anymore, and it should be obvious. However, some fakes are getting better and imitate the authentic products in a more precise way. Let's get back to the inner construction of the clutch. Notice the perfect stitch line of the authentic clutch and compare it with this inaccurate job done here in the fake one. And the last part, the logo. It's a delicate silver print and in so many cases there is a special metal plate with the logo inside the clutch. By looking at this counterfeited clutch, you can easily tell that the logo has a slightly different font and the whole tag is a fake. Clutch bags are not marked with any date codes. We cannot tell when a particular product has been produced. 
original Bottega Veneta tax color is cappuccino, and it's put into a little cardboard envelope with a delicately printed dark brown logo. Looking at the fake tag, you can tell the f at the first glance that it's in a different color and it's bigger than an authentic one. Moreover, the authentic clutch is provided with a tag which confirms that the product went through quality control. We cannot compare it to the fake one because it was not even included. This is original dust bag of Bottega Veneta. The dust bag is made of good quality, durable fabric. And the fake one is really thin. The fabric is of poor quality and the bag is also smaller. Always check the quality of print of the logo. Blood and fuzzy letters are alarming. The same applies to the stitches. They should be fine and precise. Especially here, with this fake dust bag, we can see how fast someone was trying to finish the job and how carefully the stitches have been made. The authentic dust bag will have an internal information tag and this fake one doesn't have one. Thank you for watching and join us online.